Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. If you like survival knives, or if you're looking for a survival kit uh, and all-around survival utility knife, you're going to like this. This is the Topps Cross-Country Emergency Support Tool. Uh, it's a great, great knife made by Topps, and it comes with uh, the knife, a sheath, and a survival kit. We're going to look at all of that. We'll start with the sheath. The sheath opens with a, a snap buckle to reveal the knife. The sheath is made of a ballistic nylon. The knife is held in with a, a Velcro loop enclosure there. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Get a little closer in on this. On the front of the, on the, front of the sheath is a, a, a pouch and it's, it's held closed with, a, with an elastic band. And the pouch is a pretty good size. It's good enough to hold uh, a multi-tool or some of, the, some of the items from the emergency survival kit that it comes with. Uh, it comes with uh, some, a tie down there and a length of paracord here. On the back, the knife, or the sheath rather, has these, uh, these loops that can be affixed to a uh, gear you know, to webbing and that kind of thing. It does unsnap here, and that can be pulled out. This is a standard way the Tops makes their sheaths. It's really great, very versatile, can be uh, used in a lot of different ways of, uh, to attach to things. Uh, the the uh, flap uh, it has the unique ability of being removable. I'm not sure I've seen this before, but you can simply open this part up here and then rip it off. It's held in just with Velcro. And then that Velcro's shut. If you want to have just a, just a regular, regular sheath like that. Uh, and then there is a, a potential here uh, for using this in, in a unique way, taking this. And you can uh, fix here to the, uh, to the pouch that way, and then loop it back around this way like that, and there, you you can have it. It'll hang like that, and it'll it'll carry be like a carry sling, as you're as you're carrying that along on your side. You'll be you can have that as a carry sling there. So uh, that's a lot of functionality there. The uh, this pocket is adjustable. The uh, or I should say the snap lock is adjustable, and it does as you can hear, latch down with Velcro when you get it to the right length you want. Pull that and then latch it down and then it's uh, just, just the right length you want. Tough ballistic nylon. It does have a belt loop here for that. And if, but if you do want to use the, use the dangle, then you just, or the flap, you just open that up, stick it in there, and there you go ready to go again. Great, great sheath. Somebody was really thinking uh, when they put this together and it's a tough, tough material. It does come with a, a plastic insert uh, right there and, and the knife can be, can be put in either way. It doesn't matter. It's not, it's not specific to a direction. It'll accept the knife either way you put it in. Great sheath. The survival kit It'll come with the knife uh, bundled up like this in, uh, in, a little, in a bubble wrap package for protection. Uh, and I've got most of these items over here that I can show you. Let me just bring them in. Uh, what, what it comes with, I've got most of these items, uh, most of the important ones anyway. Uh, it does come with uh, a whistle. This is a, this is a TOPS emergency signal whistle, and it's quite loud. It does make a good sound, a good loud sound, and it's very thin, easy to carry. It comes with that. Uh, it comes with a Lansky knife sharpener, which has two, um, two slots here. One is a coarse and one is fine. So you put the blade in here and, and then just draw it through like this. And that sharpens both edges at once and then turn it over and do the same thing to give it a touch up there. And that's, that'll keep your knife sharp in the field. Uh, there is a carabiner or snap, snap lock. That comes with it. Uh, a P38 can opener. Who can be without that? 
open up your your canned goods there that comes with it uh, an emergency saw is also in there and this is a really nice saw it, it unfolds it's got kind of a hacksaw type of a, a blade pattern but you can use that to cut through uh, wood plastic you know metal uh, you know it, it'll it'll do some light cutting through metal wood plastic pretty much anything you put in front of it it's very uh, very rugged it's made of this is a, a high impact plastic uh, it does not lock it has no lock on it it just folds but it folds it folds shut like that very useful very very good good to have certainly glad to have that with you uh, also a fire starter it's uh, uh, magnesium and ferrocium rods here and you can use your P38 to strike it shave off some of that there and then strike it uh, a right angle screwdriver that's a flathead and Phillips so you can get some good cranking power there it's good to have that have a screwdriver with you you never know when you might need that a compass it's a nice nice little compass it's scratch resistant plastic very heavy duty very heavy duty it's a good looking compass that comes with it a razor blade with a protective sleeve safety pin also I don't have in the picture here but also what does come in the, in here is um, you, you do also get a little LED light and then you get some fishing line and some snare wire uh, to you know for, for fishing catching uh, animals something like things like that and then also ranger bands which are which are wide wide rubber band type things and that all is in your in your survival kit then we have the knife itself there we go it's a stout stubby looking thing but it's just the kind of design you want I'll give you the technical specs that blade is three and a quarter inches long it's made of 440 C steel with a gray powder coat it is three sixteenths of an inch thick that's a stout little fire plug of a knife the blade is an inch and a half wide here the Rockwell hardness on that is 58 to 59 uh, the uh, overall length is seven and a half inches the weight is 8.2 ounces it's full tang of course and the scales are uh, canvas micarta I'll give you a close-up on that that blade there you can see it's got a bit of a recurve for, for some for some power cutting you can see the grind here starts very far down so it retains its full stock thickness all the way I'd say a good two-thirds if not three-quarters of the length of the width of the blade so it's a very stout uh, stout blade you can see that it's that it's it's almost a spade like and so you can imagine some of the uses that have been envisioned for this knife you know uh, it, digging and and prying and sort of almost spade like uh, uses with the the width of that blade and then the thickness being maintained uh, also you know push cuts very very good on that scraping like that scraping bark scraping a tree to gather tinder batoning this could certainly certainly work well with batoning processing wood good for all of those important functions that you need out in the woods there is some jimping here for your thumb and it's and it's on a rise so that that helps with with pressure and control and then there's some more jimping back here 
so that you know that kind of that kind of movement it's it's a it's a survival knife and it's made for uh, made for you know made for general purpose heavy duty tasks hacking chopping cutting digging prying um, those type of those type of things you can see on the handle here uh, I'll give you a close up on those scales like I said that's canvas micarta it's been rounded all around for comfort it's really a very comfortable knife to hold there's not a hot spot on it it's all rounded so it's comfortable to hold this of course is for your for your drill uh, drill fire starter uh, as you know if, if you if you're gonna make one of those to uh, you know if you're not going to use the fire starter in the survival kit uh, you've got the, the the drill where you you're holding that and you've got the the bow the bow drill and you're making your your uh, fire that way creating friction and heat you've got at least the top at least the top piece uh, so you don't need to uh, all you'll need to make is the is the bottom piece and put your tinder in there and make your bow saw your bow drill comes with a lanyard of paracord another interesting part about this knife is that it does have a uh, a little compartment inside and I'll see if I can see if I can show that to you uh, it can be used as a compartment or you could just take the scales off entirely uh, these these are Chicago screws so they come right out they appear to be brass to me There you go. That's what the knife looks like. There's your hidden compartment, like I said, or if you wanted to go this way, you could carry it like that and maybe maybe wrap paracord around the handle there uh, instead of having the scales and, and and use it use it as a knife that way. So that's another way to go. You've really got a well thought out survival knife here. I, I, I'm really impressed with Tops. Uh, they do, they really do a fine job uh, with their knives. Not only their knives, but their sheaths uh, as well. I'm, they, they make really great sheaths uh, for survival. Lots of uses and functions in these sheaths. And then, uh, then the survival kit. Lots of useful implements in there too. That's the. Tops Cross Country Emergency Support Tool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.